Hello people, it's Awaken Sheeple. And it's another little video discovery here. I've been asking the Lord for quite a while, you know, about there's a specific passage in Revelations where he speaks of for fear and men's hearts failing them. And I personally experienced that fear. And I know what it, like, that is capable of killing people. If they had a weak heart, oh my goodness. Uh, and he can, that kind of terror from God, can, it'll drop you to your, to your knees in a heartbeat. I mean, if you don't, have never experienced it, just be thankful and know that it is real. Um, something unexpected, though, from it, because I've been asking him about it. I was like, well, I understand that they're going to see something similar or whatever coming upon them, and it's going to be yikes. But there's more to it, more to everything in the book than what you see. Everybody's talking about, like, the comet and CMIs or uh, coronal mass ejections, solar flares, whatever they are, the magnetic polar shift... And he keeps leading me to think about this. And I, I kept thinking it was kind of morbid, but what happens when one of these magnetic pulses, either from, you know, whatever source, the sun or man made, what happens to all those people with pacemakers? Because I know those things are not shielded. Does that count too? And uh, like people's hearts are going to stop? So... You know, and I'm sorry to say that to anybody that might be watching this. It might be, might have a pacemaker. But it might be a question you uh, maybe should ask your doctor or something. Or ask God. He's leading me to make this video right now for somebody. And it's just a personal thought. But I'm telling you what. If it's, if a, if a CMI or an electromagnetic pulse, if it's strong enough to knock out all the phones, communications, power grid, and all that stuff... It'll stop whatever little battery's running that pacemaker. Um, hope you're good with God if you have a pacemaker. So, I mean, it's just something I thought about. And I'll pray for those people with pacemakers. that They're, they're right with him when these things come upon the land. But I, it's going to be more than just... The Lord does not work in the ways most people think. They think it's going to be, you know, one specific thing, but it's not. He comes in multiple different aspects, you know, at the same adversary from different sides. So this is going to be one of them. If you've got electronic hardware that runs something in you and this comes, I think you're, you're jacked. You're going to be hosed unless you have the Lord in your heart. Literally. Get it? <laughs> I'll tell you what. When my back was broken and all the muscles were ripped and I couldn't stand the pain anymore and I kept turning to him, he healed me. Like straight up healed me. Removed bone spurs that were growing on my spine that were pinching off things and my arm was numb and my chest was, the muscle mass was starting to decrease. I knew something bad was in there, and everybody in my family's like, "You got pro get into the hospital, get into the hospital." And my wife didn't even bother to worry about it. You know, looked upon me every day, riding on the mower or whatever I was doing, with one arm stuck straight up in the air. You know what it's like walking around with one arm stuck up in the air all the time? I do. Your arm gets tired, but if you put it down, it just it something was seriously wrong, and I prayed it away. You know, the Lord answered my prayers. He. He's like, you're going to come to me, and if you get serious, he'll help you. But this is just my personal thoughts that, you know, he's going to do more things than we think, and he's not going to show up like we think, too. It's, you know, what most people will run from, you're going to run, too. So, anyways, I wanted to bring that up. Um, I don't have any further thoughts, but he keeps putting it upon me to speak it. So, it's been spoken. If you've got a pacemaker... Talk to him because that's when he's going to meet you is when this uh, pulse or whatever comes. It's, there's going to be many things. and Like each day it's going to be bam, 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 bam. You know, here I am listening to music and I'm praying praying to him and I'm asking him after a full day of prayer. I mean, like, not weekend warrior style. I'm talking full day of prayer. I ask him, uh, 
I'm like, what's coming? And the next song that played was uh, Pow Pow Bam. And I was like, oh, goodness. So you, you hear enough of these things, and it really catches your attention. I was praying away yesterday, and I'm listening. I have my radio playing, and I've got like 2,500 songs. And I'm, they're not all Christian gospel, love you stuff, but God works in every single aspect of things. And I started looking at the music that what's playing and what's going on around me when I'm doing things. And I'm working away on a personal project, and my little my little player starts having a glitch. Whatever was playing on there started repeating itself, and it. It took a while for me to even notice it. And when I did, it was looping this specific phrase. So I go and I run over to the thing and I, I don't even really notice it. I just had this, I was upset that it was skipping like a broken record and I was gonna fast forward the song to the next one, just push the next song button. When I looked at the phone to see what song it was skipping on, it stopped skipping. And the song was called Fallen. It was by Imagine Dragons. And I'm listening to the lyrics and I'm like, dang, dang, you know? Like, I'm asking him what's coming and what's going to happen. And he's playing a song that's speaking exactly about what's going on. I mean, go and listen to that Imagine Dragons. And the song's called Fallen. And they've got other songs on there. One's called Demon and you should actually just listen to them with an open mind to just see what they're saying. And it's like the Lord leaves messages in everything. That's all I know. Uh, <laughs> literally, in everything. In everything. And it's it's totally amazing. So start paying attention to the stuff that's going on around you. When, you know, everything. Everything. Pay attention to everything because he is all in all. So God bless each and every single one of you. Um, does anybody that listened to this have a family member that might have a pacemaker? And you might want to ask them if they have the Lord in their heart. And they're going to look at you strangely. And you're going to say, well, it's all over the news or whatever. They're talking about the comet. They're talking about solar flares all the time. And do they point at Earth? And they've got all these cameras trained on it. And they're always talking about it. And another strange thing I've just noticed is that um, certain members of the body of Christ are getting sick. So if you're out shopping, if you're out in the world and you're touching like shopping cart handles, baskets and stuff, I hope and pray for you that you get your hands washed right away. There is some serious contamination coming upon the land. The Lord said in the very end that there was a a reserved plague that he was going to bring and it'll only come out in portions a little a little bit at a time but he's going to remove his bride before that comes but i'm telling you what folks there are some nasty things going on around and if you're touching that stuff you might be bringing it home wash your hands he pretty much said don't go in the world so not to me or at least to me i mean if that's where you're feeling led to go you might want to ask him is, this, is going out and shopping at the local, the local whatever, supermarket, is that a good thing to go and do? And if you do, maybe grab them little hand sanitizers. But I don't know how safe those things are either. If they can even kill whatever bacteria is coming. Uh, them super resistant new strains to antibiotics and all kinds of stuff. And a lot of that stuff, it's all man-made. Don't get me wrong. God said he would use everything. He uses man and his, man's most devious inventions against him. So when you look at everything, it's, it's, it's pretty cool if you're with God. That's all I'll say. God bless you.